Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to import two advanced custom fields using the advanced custom fields add-on for WPL import. So I have advanced custom field installed, and I've created a field group called recipe fields. These apply for the recipes custom post type, and each recipe has ingredients, a procedure, serving size calories. In ingredients and procedure are repeater fields, so if I edit that you'll see there can be many ingredients, and each ingredient has a quantity, unit, ingredient name, and so on. So let's import to these fields with WPL import. Well, first, before I do that, I'll show you exactly what they look like over when adding a recipe manually. So you can add multiple ingredients, procedure text, serving size and calories. So let's do the import. All import, new import upload a file. We have this recipes file in XML format. Create new recipes. Continue to step two. And we want to create one recipe post for each recipe element in the file. So we just click recipe right here. There are five recipes. We'll get one recipe for each recipe right here. So we'll continue to step three. And now we'll set the recipe title just by dragging and dropping. And for the recipe content, we'll set it to makes number of servings, servings. Preview that. Looks good. And now we'll go to the advanced custom fields add-on inside of WPL import and import to our recipe fields. So ingredients is a repeater field. And this is an XML file, and there are a variable number of ingredients per recipe. So we choose variable repeater mode. And now we're going to say for each recipe ingredient, we want to import the quantity, unit, ingredient, etc. So we'll set the quantity, the unit, the ingredient, the ingredient name. And the syntax for this type of for each loop is the exact same as the syntax for a normal for each loop in WPL import. The documentation for that is available on our website under documentation, advanced topics for each loop, for each loops. And this is advanced and that's fine. This is the advanced custom fields add on. So it, it's supposed to be advanced. So I'm going to remove this as per the for each loop syntax. And then I'm going to remove this as well because we don't need it. Measure is just measure. And if you don't understand any of this stuff, that's fine. We do have a support team who is happy to help you with this kind of thing if the documentation here isn't quite clear enough. We're going to do basically the same thing for our procedure, variable repeater mode for each for each recipe procedure. We want the procedure text. And then for serving size, we'll just simply drag and drop serving size. And for calories, we'll just drag and drop calories. And that's all for our import settings. Let's continue to step four auto detect a unique key and confirm and run the import. So five recipes have been created. Let's take a look at the created recipes. Here's our pumpkin gingerbread trifle makes 12 servings and all of the ingredient data has been imported. Imagine how much time it would take to manually do that for just one recipe, let alone hundreds. So that is how to use the advanced custom fields add-on for WPL import. 